Hi, I'm Heath Putzel from Fisherman's Call and one of this year's Super Bowl outreach team leaders. Many of us have been open air preaching and or pastoring and preaching for some time. For others, this is a brand new endeavor. And throughout our ministries, we might possibly have read the journals and the sermons of the giants upon whose shoulders we stand. Some of these giants, like George Whitfield, John Wesley, Howell Harris, and many others, were inspired by the depth of their preaching and the work of the Holy Spirit in their ministries, and we long to see that in our own. Many of us are discouraged and disappointed that we do not see the power of souls being saved, and we chalk it up to a period or a time in ministry right now that God has us for watering or planting or breaking fallowed ground or we believe that we are called to an Isaiah or a Jeremiah type of ministry. But maybe, just maybe, we rob the power of God in our preparation. Now, none of us have arrived when it comes to our preaching and our preparation. We can all improve and hone our craft but maybe we're missing out. See, I've observed when looking at the sermons in the journals of these giants that there are two important characteristics or two important items in their ministries. One is the absolute necessity of prayer and the other is in their preparation. The very depth of their preaching that inspires us is in their faithful, diligent preparation of the Word. Now in Romans 1.16, the Apostle Paul writes to the church in Rome, I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to those who believe, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek Notice that the gospel declared is the power of God unto salvation to those who believe. And I'm convinced and convicted that God has declared in his word exactly what he intended it to say in all of scripture and all of its various parts. And I'm sure that you would agree. And when we grasp and harness and apprehend the exact meaning that God intended, we grasp and we harness and we apprehend the power that comes from that word. Now, I'm not talking about a name it and proclaim it type of thing. The power of God is in the word itself as it is declared as God intended it in its context and its meaning. And when we don't grasp and harness and apprehend the exact meaning that God intended it, we rob that very word of its power. So I invite you to join me in an online training called Open Air Preaching Hermeneutics. We will take 10 weeks and provide you with the tools and the principles to grasp and harness God's intended meaning. We will take a look at the commitment or the recommitment to expository preaching. We will take a look at our pathway to prepare. We will take a look at the context and the structure of Scripture, preaching Christ and the gospel in all of Scripture and others. There will also be preaching practicum in which you can preach your sermon to your peers and gain valuable feedback to improve. I want to be a faithful steward of God's word. I want to be an approved workman who need not be ashamed, rightly handling or dividing the word of truth. And I pray you do as well. So let's commit to the faithful and diligent preparation for his glory.